We're just keeping in our thoughts and prayers and hopefully the doctors will work miracles. And an elderly woman is in critical condition after being shot multiple times in a home invasion. This happened Thursday in Seneca. Police have identified two suspects. Both are teenagers. One of them is in custody. 7 News' Ann Maxwell spoke with police and the victim's neighbors. She's joining us now live from 7 on Main with more. Ann. Tom, police haven't released the identity of the victim, but the teenagers accused of hurting her are facing charges of burglary and attempted murder. A split-level brick house on a quiet street in Seneca, now a crime scene. Police say two teenagers broke in through a window to rob the place. During the home burglary, there was an altercation and a, uh, there were some gunshots and we have one victim at the hospital. The victim is an elderly woman. She's now in intensive care with gunshot wounds and a head injury. Well, really, it was unbelievable. I thought some of the neighbors had come here. Yeah, I didn't know if it was Joe. Neighbors tell me this is usually a safe area. We don't uh, see a lot of crime in, in that area, um, which raises a lot of eyebrows as well with us of what's going on. Some neighbors are also raising their eyebrows. Sarah Howard says she saw two figures in hoodies running from the house where the woman was shot Thursday. They ran up that road and that's the last I saw of them. Police have identified two suspects, 17-year-old Hunter Lee Honeycutt and 19-year-old Dakota Castle Brown. Police took Honeycutt into custody Friday evening. Do these people know the victim? Uh, we're still trying to figure that out right now. Um, there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle, um, but right now it does look like there might be some, some sort of connection. Police say Brown is armed and dangerous, but they believe this shooting was an isolated incident. Captain Bowling told me they haven't ha heard of anything being stolen from that house at this point. And if you see Brown, you are asked to call the Seneca Police Department. So, Ann, what about the two suspects? Have you been able to learn whether either of them has a criminal history? Bowling told me they haven't had any dealings with Honeycutt. He says that Brown has had a history of run-ins with the law, though. Tom? All right. Ann, thanks for bringing us up to date on this tonight.